We are recording. All right, this is Courtney Swan interviewing Tommy Weiss for Knowing and Learning, Curriculum and Teaching 360 with Dr. Carrie Lavoie. Um, Tommy, in front of you, there are two versions of the Hobbit and Orc problem. Um, you can take your pick which one you use for this, but you can only use one. Go ahead and read through it real quick. Um, make any bad comments that you have as you're reading out loud, and any comments that you have uh, during this process say out loud, and I will probably be asking you questions during this process. Okay. All right, go ahead and begin. Okay, do I read through it out loud? Um, you can or to yourself, whichever you prefer, whichever you think would help you. Okay. Okay. I uh, am using the first one. Alright. Are there any questions that you have before you get started on solving the problem? Um, no. Alright. Go ahead and start talking me through your process. Okay. So there's... Is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Well, poop. You were on the right track there. I think you were, you were there really well until I interrupted you, and now I feel really bad. <laughs> it's cool. Um, Alright, can you tell me how you're working through this real quick while we have a minute? Yeah, um... Just trying to figure out how the orcs are not going to eat the hobbits. Okay. Are you just using visual pictures or are you using your hands to walk, or walk yourself through it, I guess, or anything else like that? No. I'm just I'm trying to picture it in my mind. But we've okay. got three in the three. Okay, so a hobbit and an orc on one side. Orc stays there. Hobbit goes back. Um. Or wait, no. Wait, yeah. That's how I started it, right? Yes. Okay. Hobbit goes back. Picks up another orc. No, can't do that, because then that hobbit's dead. Okay, picks up another hobbit and brings it back. And the hobbit goes back by itself. Picks up another hobbit and brings it back. The awesome. Then... <laughs> The hobbit goes back, picks up another one of the orcs, brings it back, goes back to the other side, gets the last orc, goes back, all six are across the river, all the little hobbits are alive, and the orcs are still hungry. Alright, well, I think that's enough time. We're very close. Damn it! The way I understand it is, do you want me to tell you what, where you messed up? Yes! Alright, you were so close, like so close, that I wanted to give you a hint, but I resisted, kind of. Okay. Alright, so you had um, a hobbit and an orc go over, and the hobbit comes back, and then you said you picked up another hobbit, so two hobbits are going over, and that, um, once I get to the other side, two hobbits and an orc on the south side, the destination, but on the start side, you it's have two orcs and a freaking hobbit, hobbit, and that hobbit is dead. Dang it! Yeah. Okay. So close. 
um, you had it right earlier. You had um, the orc and the hobbit. Hobbit goes back. Uh, two orcs get in the boat and go over. Orc goes back. Um, two hobbits get in the boat. Um, orc goes back. No. Yeah, an orc would go back. So that would have an orc, two orcs on one side. Uh, and you could orc and a hobbit go back. And then you have two hobbits go over, uh, orc come back, two orcs go over, orc comes back, two orcs go over. Okay, but that has you with, that has you with... Huh? <sighs> Alright, well, um... I was going to say, you solved it a little differently than I did, but, um, where you were going, you had, um, Hobbit and the Nort go over first. Yeah. And Hobbit comes back. Yes. Um, Hobbit gets out, two orcs get in the boat, mm -hmm. go over, one orc comes back. Then you have two Hobbits get in the boat, um, go to the other side, um, uh, Hobbit and an orc go back. Why wouldn't just so, an orc go back though? Because then that'd be one to two. But you would have two orcs on the other side. Never mind. I got you. Yeah. Alright, so uh, once you have the orc and the hobbit go back, you have one orc and one hobbit on the south side, two orcs on the south side. Then you have two hobbits get in the boat, go over, one orc comes back. Two hobbits get in the boat, go over, one orc comes back. Then you have two hobbits get in the boat, go over, Dang it! Uh, okay. No, but you did really good. Thank you very much. You're, I knew you'd be very good at the thinking out loud. Yeah, I try. <laughs> yeah. No, I had to use, um, I use markers and pencils to figure this out. It's just like, I had to see this. Why I was asking, like, if you were, like, using your hands or, like, picturing it. Just in my head. I have this, and like, I'm little picture I, of, like, these the little yeah, guys. Huh? <laughs> I said I have this, like, little mental picture of this river and these, like, little guys sitting, like, next to each other, like, being all mean and vicious towards each other. And... <laughs> oh, my imagination. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. I know it was scary, though, because I was the first one in the class to figure it out. And so she had me go out there. Because every time I thought I had it figured out and then I had to go back and think and realize that I had two orcs on the side with one poor little hobbit and that poor little hobbit is now dead and in the orc's belly. And it frustrated me that I couldn't figure it out. Uh, um, have you done a problem like this before? Yes. Uh, what problem? Um, one with wolves and chickens. But it's the same thing, three and three. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you weren't exactly a novice going into this, but um, or do you feel like you were a novice going into this? The novice that you have experienced in solving a problem like this? Kind of not really. I mean, I'd solved, I mean, I'd obviously, like, solved a problem like this before, but... It's not something I do on a regular basis, so I kind of have to sit there and rethink about it every single time, and it's like I'm trying to figure it out for the first time every time, so. Um, oh, <laughs> would you have felt better about this if I had given you some 
Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of get my problem solving skills going. Um, do you feel like you were hindered by my um, lack on that part? No, not really. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to say? Or discuss? Mention? No. Uh, of course I'm a fabulous best friend. I better be, and you're gonna be an even more fabulous best friend when you spend time with me in a couple weeks about my, on my birthday. Oh yeah, probably. Bye, Courtney's teacher! <laughs>